Thank you. Now I call the delegate from R Street uh, Institute. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My intervention concerns the application of international law to the use of ICTs. As part of this important discussion, a debate currently exists on whether a new comprehensive cyber convention is necessary to address ongoing cybersecurity challenges. A future comprehensive convention may be useful at some point in the future. It could, after all, serve as an important source of international law and provide greater legal clarity for member states. Nevertheless, this working group should prioritize how stakeholders can support governments to implement important cyber norms that were previously agreed to in 2015. The unique and involving challenges in the ICT environment support this better approach. To note, a new cyber convention would not be the first of its kind. The Budapest Convention on Cybercrime, for instance, has been signed and ratified by dozens of states. The only modern agreement of its kind, the convention has been a success. But as technology evolves, the agreement needs modernization. A similar fate would likely befall any other comprehensive cyber convention, despite its potential positive merits. Another concern. Through nego negotiation and consistent developments in ICTs, a new cyber convention has the potential to be both over-inclusive and under-inclusive. It could both instill legally binding restrictions that could unintentionally limit ICT advancement, while at the same time failing to address every category of previously agreed to norms, resulting in the unfortunate and mandatory prioritization of some norms over others. Even if the process began for a new cyber convention, it should not distract from this working group's work on how to implement previously agreed to norms. After all, the strength of many conventions is its ability to serve as a guide for member states to craft its own legislation and policies that are globally more uniform and helpful. The implementation of norms asserted in the 2015 GGE report can already serve this important purpose. Beyond a new cyber convention, another dispute exists on whether certain aspects of international law, including international humanitarian law, apply in cyberspace. We believe, like many in this room today, that IHL does apply, and we are not persuaded that it would invite greater conflict or eager military retaliation for cyber mischief. Many of these fears, for instance, fail to consider important international humanitarian law principles of necessity, humanity, distinction, and proportionality. Above all, these legal debates, while important, can and should remain separate from the working group's work to prioritize the pragmatic implementation of existing already agreed to norms. Thank you.